Welcome back to Gas Diesel Garage, everyone. In today's episode, we got a 1999 Toyota RAV4. And today, we got to put a heater core in this thing. And that involves taking the whole dashboard out. So stay tuned. Gas Diesel Garage starts right now. It's going to be a good one. Well, anytime you're taking out the airbags out of a vehicle, it'd be a good idea to disconnect that battery cable. You can disconnect the positive too if you like, if you want more reassurance. Remember what I was talking about? If we're gonna take the airbags out, we're gonna start with the uh, steering wheel airbag first. To take this airbag out, you have two Torx or T30 Torx Torx it's Torx it's this how do you say that Torx Torx anyways a T30 Torx which you can see right up in there gotta take that one out we gotta take this one out hopefully that wasn't too much of a glare And of course you got the uh, passenger side airbag, which is a T45 Torx. Now you gotta take those 245 Torx out of the bottom of the airbag because the passenger side airbag bag actually comes out with the dashboard. Next thing is, you gotta take the steering wheel off. So get yourself about 18, 18 millimeter socket. Got air, that's cool. If you just got a big old uh, ratchet like I do, do that too. Now, of course, before you take the steering wheel off, disconnect the clock spring. There we go. Right, give it a little tug. It should come right on out. Now we got to take the column off. Should be three screws one two and three right here then all you do is you separate <laughs> say that comes out two pieces. Oh, got one screw right there. If 
crap out of the ignition. Drop it down. A little finagling, but yeah. Next thing we need to do is take all this out. Got one screw right there, and then this whole thing should pop right off. Get the screws on the bottom. You gotta pull all these off. Pull the selector knobs. Now you gotta unplug all this stuff in the back.
Now, if you look this up online or the internet or even a manufacturer's manual, it says that you got to drop or you got to pull the whole uh, steering column out. But obviously, I don't see why you would have to do that because we already took the knee panel out. So all we got to do is just knock out these four bolts that hold it up, just drop it down because it's all we need. There's no need to disconnect it from the knuckle on the steering arm on the steering rack. So uh, that's what we're going to do. let that sit there like that we can keep moving on all right now that you drop the steering column let it lay on the ground or I'm sorry on the floorboard uh, you got to disconnect some miscellaneous uh, plugs up under the behind the uh, uh, passenger side airbag and you got to disconnect the um, the blend door actuator cables got to disconnect that and then all you got to do is just lean this thing back and it opens it up. You don't got to take it all the way out of the vehicle. That's more of a pain in the butt. Actually, this whole job is a pain in the butt, but you get the point. Now, the reason why you got to take the dash panel or dashboard off is because we got to get to this on box right here that sits dead center of the vehicle. Here, of course, sits in that box.
All right, now that we got the box loose, you don't have to take this out. You just got to separate it and see how it moves right there. There's your heater core right there. Buried right up beneath this cowl. That's why most mechanics do not want to do a uh, heater core job because it's very time consuming. And it's kind of a pain in the butt, but that's why we can do it at home. Now the trick is to just unloosen these screws and this thing will slide out so we can drop this new one in there and the new stuff comes with all the seals they go right in there so make sure you put these seals in because it'll leak badly Now, as you can tell, we got the wrong heater core. Now, stuff like this happens from time to time. So uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get the heater core on order and uh, we're gonna have to catch you in episode number two for the install. So uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And if you like more great content, check this one out and this one out. And we'll see you next time. Peace.